nerf. Hey guys, it's me again with the Nerf Longshot CS12. This is from the new Zombie Strike range. As you can tell, it is pretty much a brand new long shot. Does that mean that the internals have changed and it's a better blaster? No. No, it blatantly is just a brand new paint job. There have been virtually no body modifications whatsoever. So I'm now going to get this out of the box and we're going to take a nice good gander at it, shall we? It probably isn't going to take long. Uh, but maybe there's another one. Damn it, there is. Get out of it. Swine. There's that. We don't need that anymore. I'm using that. Effect. I'm the incredible bulk. There's more stuff tied in. I don't like ties. Just. Ooh. Paper cut. Right, let's get that. Give me that. Oh, don't just. Tell me. The amount of sellotape in this. This is ridiculous. No. Ow! Cut my own leg. That's not smart. Come on. That works. Ugh. And all that. Okay. What the hell? Go away. Anyway, to begin with, there is a tiny bit of assembly required. As you can tell, it will be the bolt. Easy and simple to put on. Through this line here is the hole of the bolt sled. So you just pop all the way through, nice and simple, nothing to worry about, and then just clamp them all together like such. There we go, and that's put on. It's lighter actually than the um, than the original actually, because as you can tell, it doesn't come with the front extension anymore. It did come with a barrel attachment with um, like a little barrel pistol with a little primer down here, and a, and a second trigger right here. And you could just pop it off, but it does still have the extension, so you still can add to it, which I'm going to try something in a minute, because I have a barrel over here for my newest for my newest paint job, so I'll attach that in a moment. Also, as you may notice, if you remember the old long shot, is the bipod has actually been removed and taken away, but where it used to be is now just a solid hole. So... I don't think they've really made any major changes. I think, to be honest, they've just repainted it. I have a feeling the internals are going to be the same as they were in the old ones, which means not very impressive. With the original, you got a 6 mag. Well, you have to get a 12, obviously, because mm -hmm. you have 12. So we'll load those up just quickly. Now you get uh, the 10 darts. Six darts are all plain green, nothing to be overly concerned about. But another six darts come with what looks like syringe measurements on them. I suppose that's what you call a cure dart. So you can put in, say, I don't know, 10 cc's of friendship, cure, Lucozaid, AIDS, whatever. Apparently. So, yeah. You do get a scope, same as you did with the old one. And again, it's not even a scope, it's just clear plastic with lines on. 
So it it's for show as always. Looking at the rifle itself again, one tactical roll on the top. Of course, that generally goes for your scope. No, wrong way. Well, it's been a while since I've used this gun, and it's still there. We are. Now we're there. The jam door is in the same location, although this one, un unlike my old long shot, when I hold it up, the jam door generally slides slides open. This one, it actually locks in place. So fair enough, I'll give them that. Ugh. Obviously, it's it still again has the extendable stock with one orange switch here. That's the lock button. You can click that over, push it down to here for storage purposes, and extend it. But it only has those two settings. There's nothing more. So unless you have like very very tiny hands, it's best just to just leave the stock like that. Obviously, the biggest question, obviously, because it's a new blaster, have the internals been changed? And my guesses are probably not, because they've done this quite a few times. Cheers. Please drink responsibly. So I'm not expecting great things from this, because I'm not... I will say, as a quick note, before I fire it, without the bipod... Although there's less to grab onto, much more comfortable. It's much smoother around the hand. It's 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 brilliant to really sort of get a nice front grip. So yeah, it's uh oh my god, just looks like I'm staring down a plastic tube. Mm hmm. Okay, so let's buy another. Another three. Surprisingly, they're not as bad as I was expecting. Because um, then again, my long shot's been in production for a long time. It's been used quite a bit, so the internals have probably worn away a little bit. But out of the box can tell it actually performs pretty nicely it certainly won't hit any kind of elite distances like a strong arm would do or an alpha trooper or a rampage for example but it does get sort of mid-range in between the 75 claims and the 45 claims you're probably looking about 50 feet about that i'd wager so i mean it's it, it is still sort of down there with the sort of least powerful firing blasters but out of the box brand new it does fire quite nicely over time of course the internals are going to wear down and they probably are going to sort of wither away and die but yeah which is a bit of a shame but the good thing that I like about re, re uh, making a new long shot per se it's a new is the fact that this gun is absolutely fantastic for doing loads and loads of integrations there are multiple people online, like Lord Jaconeal, um I am Bobolo, I think of Bobobolo. I'll, I'll put the names down there. Also, Coop772. A lot of people online that do integrations generally use a long shot as a base sometimes because it is such a unique... It It's so easy to use. It's easy to use for an integration, and it's brilliant. Of course, if you don't want to do an integration and you want to make this gun better, there is a company called Orange Mod Works, and they sell um, internal kits for blasters, including the long shot. So check them out. There'll be a link in the description below for that as well. I have another video to do based on a Orange Mod Works kit that I bought. Uh, just as a quick note, obviously with a barrel extension, I've got an old long strike barrel here, which has all been painted up, as you can see. My bipod came off. Mother Fletch, I've got to put that back on. But yeah, obviously you can still, actually, how's that going to fire with the barrel extension? Thinking about barrel drag here. Still, not half bad. Anyway, I've been Zane Drewsdale. This has been the Long Strike CS12 from the Zombie Strike series, and I'll see you guys next time.